Right, let's do it, okay? <laughs> World Cup stars who should be looking for an upgrade. This will be on the James Lawrence All Got channel. Welcome. If you want to watch the, if you want to listen, sorry, to the whole podcast, then go onto iTunes, search Great Touch for a Big Lad, and you'll find us there. And you can listen to the whole podcast. We've been talking about all sorts of stuff. Um, but now you get a chance to see Craig's sunburn. Um, so we're gonna, I've got a <laughs> list of names here of players that maybe should get an upgrade. We were talking about earlier in the podcast about every single time in a World Cup, people stop, uh, it we, rises, we gonna, isn't it? We're gonna kind Who's of the next El Hajj Juve? We? We're going to just say, we should go, we should win it. But who is the, the next El Hajj Juve? I'm going to say some names. Some are obviously English, and then we'll get into some other uh, World Cup stars from 2018. Yeah. Um, if you're listening to this podcast, Go over to the YouTube channel, hit subscribe. Cheers. Let's do it. So let's start off with the England players. And I'm going to go big and I'm going to go early. Okay. Right. If we're talking an upgrade. Yeah. I think Harry Kane should be looking for an upgrade. We should have, he's not losing. He's signed a new contract. That's, that's not happening. But so Gary Lineker, 1986, you know, scored, um, scored a load of goals, got six goals, won the golden boot. Like Harry Kane has done this time. Yeah. I'm slightly misleading with the penalties and all of that. Yeah. But it's no doubt that he is, he is world class. Well, he is clinical. He's Tottenham over the career of the past three seasons. Yeah, phenomenal. exactly. Yeah. And, but he hasn't had the, had the service. Ronaldo's gone to, and we'll talk about Ronaldo and the domino effect mm-hmm. that could happen. It's hilarious, this article. Um, but Ronaldo's gone. There's a space there. Benzema's getting older. And any other team, apart from Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, Barcelona, I wouldn't say Harry Kane so would not, get an upgrade. So not, I mean, what? Maybe City, Man you could City. say it. Maybe, maybe. Well, look, look at Carl Walker, he's gone there and he's won, he's won stuff. But he's, he could easily play for Real Madrid and he could play for yeah. Real Madrid for the next five, six years. Yeah. And if he wants to be that guy, does he want to be Teddy Sheringham? Yeah. Or does he want to be... Well, no, well, Teddy made that leap, so... Oh, is, Man that, United. Is, that, is, that, is that your point? But there's a dip, even Man United to Real Madrid and Barcelona is a different. It's a different thing for me. Ooh, it's like, like, but I know that is very true. But to to go to those two teams when those two teams come calling for you not to take it, it's it's Gareth Bale is seen as a probably a bigger superstar than Harry Kane. Yeah, because he's gone and made that yeah. three, won Champions Leagues, played in those finals, scored in those finals. Harry Kane, is he ever really going to get many chances at Spurs? He, he'll know after next season. I think you... Spurs, it's, it's weird for him. He's a Spurs fan. He's, he's, he's come for the system and all that. He must be thinking, well, oh God, we're on the verge of something here. New stage in. They could get it right. Yeah, but, it, but you're but not. But they're not gonna play, he's not going to play in an El Clasico. He's not going to play in finals every single year. If he stays at Real he Madrid... Might. If he goes to Real Madrid, sorry. He might. It's a big gamble. It's Ta- a huge Ta- gamble. Ta- Tottenham, yeah. Like it's it, only he can decide, and it's that Gerard thing. Does he like? Does he love the club that much that he'd rather win one trophy with Spurs yeah. rather than six or seven with with Real Madrid? I know. I, I think that will be in the very depths of his mind that consideration, and I think it will surface slightly this time next year if Spurs have another third place finish. No cups. Really quick question: Stoke yeah. City are at the level of Spurs. You're playing up front for Stoke City. Yeah, yeah. Real Madrid, come calling. Do you go? Um, I'm I'm gonna say no, but it's it's the context of putting this to me now in the <laughs> room is ridiculous, isn't it? I mean, my head would be certainly turned. I mean, it's gonna be, isn't it? But I'd I'd like to think no because I think Tottenham slash Stoke in the analogy are going in the right direction. Okay. But I will have a better idea of it in twelve months. I always see. Yeah, Shall I ask you in twelve months? Yeah, yeah. I, tell okay. I always see Wembley as the, the the caveat season of just let's get this out of the way, then we'll go again. Let's push on. Okay. Twelve months till now. Right. I. I no signings as of yet. I, I know your point. I do get your point. Uh, let's keep going with the England players and then we'll get into a couple of others from around the world. Mm-hmm. Uh, who should be getting an upgrade after having a decent World Cup? Pickford. Um, he didn't have the greatest seasons for Everton though, did he? No. And, and I think in terms of players of the tournament for England, I think his stock's probably gone up third. as high as anyone else. Third. I'd say he's a third best player. I think he kind of not got lucky because he had a great tournament, but he had a poor game against Belgium. His stuff was quite low after that. He was getting a bit of sticky. I mean, he missed lead. one curling bit, great bit, shot bit, into bit, the corner. Bit fumbly. But nonetheless, um, not yet. If I was a Man United or a Man City looking at keepers or whatever, I feel fairly confident that they won't quite there be with Pickford. He's not done it consistently in the Premier. Kane has. So I, I think clubs outside of Everton will not be looking at mm. Pickford. Not I do yet. think, yeah, that's not a good yet. point with that because I think he does thrive 
in a tournament setting. He's he's got that kind of yeah. He enjoys the, you can tell he enjoys the pressure. Yeah, you can yeah. tell he kind of enjoys the adrenaline rush of those yeah. massive games. I, I love picking his World Cup. He was the most great. relatable player. Like he could just be your mate. It's just yeah, definitely. The World Cup. Yeah, that's so true. He that's looked so true. Bewild- not bewildered. That's one word. He looked stunned that he's in the World Cup doing this. It, mm-hmm. it was great. Harry Maguire. Uh, he's, got to, got he's, to go, he's, got he? to, he's, he's got to, yeah. yeah. As I was saying a moment ago, my player the tournament for England, he looks like he could be world class centre back. He, he has to. If you list Europe's top clubs mm-hmm. and Leicester are here, right? If he does it this summer, he could get right up here. Yeah. If he does it next summer, because they're going to lose games, he's going to probably make some mistakes. Yeah. And it, it could be just here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's the difference between no disrespect but like Everton and Man United yeah well and Leicester fans know that but he must have such a dilemma now because he'll he'll return to the World Cup and it, that'll be on his mind to speak to his parents and say I've been at Leicester and it's not long as well it's only a couple of weeks but what do I do yeah you get one shot go go go, go 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 it's got to if go. the offers are coming in of course but you, did you kick up a fuss to get out if it's one of their ones or do you just let it ride and yeah you, you true. Got to very true but he, he, he yeah he, he's got to consider that um Right, Russian Cherishev. Um, four goals in the tournament, scored a all good banger. goal. They're all screamers as well, yeah. weren't they? Um, Came off the bench a few times though, as well. Weird that because he didn't play for Spain. I mean, you could argue against Spain, and you could argue right call. Mm. I tell you um, what, I'll go through a few of these and let me know which one really should be getting the upgrade, and then which one is the El Hadj due. Right. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you got Cherishev there. Yeah. I think he's a, he's an option. Herving Lozano, Mexico, scored the goal against Germany, mm-hmm. was a massive threat for Mexico on yeah. the left hand side. Played for Ajax, um, not Ajax, sorry, it's, um, where is it, PSV? I think it's PSV, yeah. PSV last season, he's only 22, scored 17 goals, 8 assists last season. Uh, teams were already sniffing around for him the, and then he did the that. Is that In right? the Erdeviser, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I think he's an option after kind of. Is that a great return? I mean, seventeen goals is great. I'd love to score that in the Erdeviser. But is that a great return in that division? Yeah, it's pretty good. Twenty-two goals. No, seventeen. Seventeen goals, goals eight assists. No, is it? It's not. No, not not to slam that league. But okay, it's, it's okay, hardly okay. The Premier League, Stick with me. Uh, Benjamin Pavard, right back. Yeah, scored. great. Time. Uh, what a goal against but also, Argentina. Was it Francis third or fourth? The little run he did down the left hand side. Oh, that was Hernandez. That's the other. That's the other side. Was it? That was Pavard. Yeah, no, it was, it was Hernandez on the left hand side. Who's that? Athletic Madrid. No, don't. don't, don't honestly, no, you don't. No, he's fine. Everyone's laughing at Leave him. him alone. Put um, a like on this video just to cheer him up. <laughs> um, Pavard, yeah, was on the right hand side. Scored that screamer against uh, Argentina. Yeah. I had a little wobble. Uh, against Belgium, but looked solid enough. He's and they had a tough now. game against um, Perisic in the final. Yeah, yeah. He did, did I, okay. I, I feel he's like he's, yeah. he's Francis uh, McGuire, Trippier equivalent almost, because he's at them, that sort of level of club that. He's 22, he's young. Yeah, he's young and he's at Stuttgart now, and he's mm. gone the slow way to get to this place, and all of a sudden you've won a World Cup. Yeah. He was like, what the fuck? Just life. <laughs> uh, that, that's another reason why the World Cup is, is amazing. Yeah. Winning Champions League, your life changes a little bit, but it doesn't, like. When you win the World Cup, that is you it. You will be talked about it, in 50, 60, 70, 100 years. Totally. We still talk about it for 90, you know, whatever. And last one I've got here, last nomination for a player who maybe needs an upgrade, mm-hmm. uh, but could be in Ohio Stuf as well, is uh, Yeri Mina, who uh, scored against England in the uh, in the last minute. Mm-hmm. Uh, centre-back, scored three goals in the tournament. Mm-hmm. Um, Everton are, are looking at him. He's at Barcelona, but he doesn't play a huge amount, obviously, because they've got such quality in their team. I think... If Everton could get Yerry Mina, do it, do it right now. Because yeah, I yeah. thought he, I thought he was class. Yeah, I thought he was brilliant in that game. My El Hadj Juve. I think all of these could get an upgrade because Pavard. He's just won the World Cup. Yeah. What's he doing at Stuttgart? Like, move on. I can't. That, that that's just that's just crazy. I mean, but again, actually, you're right. It's a one month's football. Should you really be kind of? But should you be judging on that, or should you be judging on on the season? I mean, what, what what's that? his competition? Who's he keeping out? What for, for right. France? Yeah, uh, Mendy maybe. I mean, were they struggling right, right left backs? Back. I mean, did he? Yeah, not. I mean, not really. I guess yeah, you're right. If, if anyone's getting in that French team, they've got to be decent. With yeah. the, the depth they've got. Yeah. So Pavard should be getting an upgrade. Uh, Lozano and Cherishev. Which one do you think uh, would be the uh, El like, um, Hadj? Lozano a little bit just because of. I mean, not to knock him, but purely based on this question of who's not going to quite cut it. I wouldn't say he's yet torn up a league. 17 goals, mate. Give him a break. 
I do you know what I think cherish him if anyone goes for him think, I'm not sure why is that I, well the, I mean well he didn't start a list of Russia reasons. he had a, the luckiest break in the tournament mm. because his, uh, who was it got injured that he took the place on against uh, Jagalev. yeah yeah he, he, so if you want to go purely on stats and, and, and status he didn't start for a poor at the start of the tournament Russian side yeah yeah, so surely it is. Him. So don't get fooled by that. But he did score some stunners. 